all, how are you doing? Uh, I'm well, I hope you're too. If you see any mess at the back, uh, it's because there is a mess. I am deep cleaning everything around me. I've been going through my cosmetics cupboard and I have too many. In total in the bathroom I have four shelves with cosmetics and I also have this bag full of stuff, unopened most of them at least, but I can't remember exactly what's in it. I think it's time to review all of that and I've already cleaned the, the bathroom. I'll uh, show you some pictures <laughs> here, uh, what I've been up to over the last few hours. I've had a lot of thoughts uh, while cleaning and uh, I think it's important for me to share it with you, particularly because it shakes the foundation of everything I've been talking here uh, on my channel for the last uh, years and particularly it's about Korean cosmetics. In all the videos from the very beginning I've been preaching about Asian skincare and particularly Korean cosmetics while well, actually cosmetics I'm actually using and I'm actually keeping aren't Korean. That is a big discovery for me too. So let me talk you through it and in the meantime I'll also show you uh, and show myself what's in this bag because I completely forgot what's in there. Let's do the bag first maybe because it's right here. So first thing I can already see moving around is the empty box after the cream from Korea which I bought while I was there. Uh, it's, it's nice, I have it in the cupboard but I have so many cosmetics and that was one of the reasons why I had to clean all the cupboards because it's just you know overwhelming and I don't need that stuff. Okay, well first observation. <laughs> I don't need these products I need I mean, I don't need all of them and uh, why have I been buying so many if I don't need them? Well, I could have said that because I'm sharing with you guys, but I haven't been sharing everything with you I haven't shown you everything I've got in my cupboards and you know now I see that they were my comfort place they were my uh, Coping place it could have been worse. I could have been doing worse things, but now if I'm 100% honest with myself, uh, I just didn't feel good about myself for a long long time and uh, unconsciously I kept buying into buying things to uh, feel better, which obviously it didn't make me feel better because the cause was somewhere else as it always is. So today I'm standing face to face with all my little uh, addiction? I don't know if I can call it addiction, it was just a mean to keep me going <laughs> with a huge wound in my heart and I didn't know that this is not the way to fix it. But anyway, um, yeah, bye bye box number one. Okay, this another thing is actually I love and uh, I, I'm not gonna give it give it up. This is the SK2 little bottles. The reason I bought sample size instead of the big ones is because um, it's cheaper to buy sample size than one big bottle. Simple as. Another one is Lululun, another set of Japanese um, masks. I haven't opened it yet. And of course, um, I have a few of these cotton pads in there, which is, you know, I don't really use them uh, anymore because I have my homemade eco pads now. This is unopened uh, egg white pore mask. It has dust on top of it. I bought it when I was in Korea a couple of years ago, so I don't know if I can still use it, to be honest. Uh, but it hasn't been opened. Um, cleansing oil from Japan. All right, I can already see what's in there. <laughs> This is a, a My Mist from Japan as well when I was, uh, well, Japanese mist from Korea when I was in Seoul uh, a couple of years ago. Okay, more uh, more pads. These are all cotton pads. Okay, I can see a big V-proof <laughs> order. Order, I mean, you know, V-proof stuff. Um, so that's like four creams. They're sample size, small size. To be honest, I've been giving them away um, as presents from uh, Korea when I came back. And here are the three creams I haven't even opened. One is like still locked. This is um, Facial Perfector uh, Peptide Lifting Cream, Volifilin uh, Wrinkle Cream as well. I should, well, I, f I say I should use them. I, I should, but I have so many open that I just I don't have space for them in my skincare. Now I think everything that's left here are the sheet masks, various shapes, transform. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's one foot mask? I, I'm waiting for winter because I'm <laughs> I'm scared of the effects of my feet. I won't be able to shoot. Oh, I have one foot mask. Did I buy two? I must have. I thought, that's why I'm cleaning these boxes because I didn't even know I have two foot masks and I thought I only have one. Um, more, more and more and more. At the very bottom is the, uh, that thing, the sponge for what powder, but you know, I don't really need it. Like, 
most of that stuff in this. I don't need it. I just wanted to show you this one. That was um, a free set of uh, facial masks that I got from Be Proof because I bought a lot of stuff while I was in uh, Seoul from this shop. And I know there is a boy on there, but actually I really like this mask. It's a very, very nice soybean mask and I've seen nice effect on the skin. Uh, okay, so that's everything from here. And now when we have this uh, out of our way and we know exactly what's in my secret little boxes, um, I have to tell you that um, most of the products I've uh, bent today were Korean Korean cosmetics that I've used once or twice and I've never came back to them again. Not to keep you in suspension for much longer, a majority of products that I kept and that are actually in my 10-step uh, routine morning and evening are Japanese products. I've noted here four reasons why I think uh, it's time for me to move away from the Korean hype trendy market. I've noticed things that I haven't noticed before but I also me growing as a person, me growing uh, as a consumer, being a little bit more conscious and more mindful about what I'm using. First of all something that really annoys me with uh, Korean products is that the trends change so fast. When you find a product that you really love it's very very hard to buy it again a few months down the line because that series has already gone and uh, they are never to be found again. This forces you to keep buying and keep searching for new products which causes my cupboard to be completely full. I get that this is a great marketing technique. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun to try all of that stuff but I, I feel like I'm in a place in life when I value stability, something that I can trust that will be there when I need it, something that I know it's not gonna change drastically in the next few months time. I'm just over you know buying thinking about it it just takes so much time to search for things browse for browse for things i'm at the stage that i just want to stick to it and not to worry about it anymore number two which is something i definitely uh, come to value a lot just even you know what look at these very examples here how many one two three four five whatever seven eight, seven eight masks here right seven eight masks in single sheets this is notorious for korean uh, sheet mask. So what I really um, value in Japanese uh, Lululun masks, apart from the fact that they are extremely effective and I just love them, is that they come in these huge packages. I think there's 32 or 36 and I love that solution. Another thing is the more I understand the dynamic of skincare trends in each uh, Asian countries, Japan versus Korea, the more I see it as uh, two sisters that have the same base but they grew into two very different directions. Japanese skincare is much more traditional, it's simpler, they don't have these crazy ingredients like bird nests or snail. I mean I'm sure they adopted some now but as a base they don't normally have it. However what they do have is the ingredients that have been around for centuries they have been tested they are trustworthy they might seem simple but actually japanese perfected the way they extract them the way they package them the way they bind in the other ingredients to create this perfect solution in the cosmetic that really works. Koreans however went into this quick, trendy, extravagant, uh, extroverted direction. Uh, they create the new trends so fast, they're leading in coming up with new solutions, new products, which are good quality but over the years there has been only a few products that I've actually kept and stuck with. Someone said that the perfect design is invisible and it almost describes how I feel about Japanese products. It's like they don't seem to do a big deal at the time but then as soon as I stop using one something just changes in my skin and there is nothing from the Korean market that can bring me back to the original results. I'm at the stage in life where I would far rather have fewer but more trustworthy, solid, more refined products than to have a you know full cabinet of stuff that I don't even know what they are. I found what I was looking for in Japanese cosmetics and don't get me wrong I am not putting a complete cross on Korean products because there are some that I adore. For example my uh, Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream is the uh, love of my life. Sidmul products amazing, Volifilin amazing, uh, Volifilin is Sidmul I forgot, well Sidmul products are amazing. My latest uh, sunscreen from Innisfree really really good. I'm not saying I will never try their products again but I am definitely gonna spend less time browsing through stuff that you know I, I don't really need 
that's it that's what it comes down to i'm still interested in trends and innovations koreans come up with so many amazing stuff that the rest of the world has no idea it's even possible i just don't want to feel like i need to get them just because they are new right okay i'm talking rubbish so uh, i wish you all a great uh, end of the well um, another week really because i don't know if i will be able to finish it off before the end of the weekend and i'll see you in my other videos hopefully it won't be as messy in the background next time i'll see you later everybody have a great day bye bye i can already see things i forgot that i have for example this uh, the ordinary aha and bha serum and here i can see my gua sha too two toothbrushes which now i think it totals to about six uh, old toothbrushes i found they are now all in the bin and uh, uh, I also found a box of collagen. Yeah, because that's the most natural place for the box of collagen to be on the top shelf in the bathroom.